Although I do want David Moyes to stay on as West Ham manager, and I think that he's done an amazing job thus far, he is going to be responsible in a way if this team does suddenly decline this season. And that would be fair, given that he chose not to sign any players in January and the fact that he seems to just accept what he's got in the squad without realising that we need depth in order to compete with these bigger teams. Now, one thing that David Moyes always talked about is signing the right players, etc. And we all know what that rhetoric is when it comes to those interviews. But I want to talk about something a little bit more recent and something that is actually a bit of a concern. In the 1-1 draw with Newcastle United, Saeed Benrahma was subbed off. As Benrahma walked past Moyes, the Algerian midfielder turned to the manager and appeared to mouth every time at him and looked very shocked and annoyed. My facial expression just then was a representation. It was like this every time. Like that. So, what does that suggest? Well, Saeed Benrahma has been subbed off 18 times so far this season. Many times has he been taken off undeservedly. I didn't think Benrahma had a particularly bad game against Newcastle, but he certainly did not deserve to come off. I think what frustrated Ben Rahm was the fact that he'd had a good game and yet Suchek and Antonio, who had been very poor and even non-existent during those 95 minutes, were allowed to stay on for the full game. I think that's what annoyed Ben Rama. And one thing has come to quite... A big realisation here, shall we say, is the fact that David Moyes does somewhat use favouritism in his team selections. It isn't lack of depth, necessarily. It's favouritism. I know that Suchek has not been great this season. Last season, he was fantastic. He was a fantastic box-to-box -box player with energy, goals and an aerial threat about him. This season, it's like playing with 10 men when Sue checks around. He does nothing to help Declan Rice out in the midfield and Rice has to clean up after him. Um, he doesn't go forward anymore. When he gets the ball, he just looks confused or disinterested. Antonio is the same. Antonio is on the verge of going up to 20 games with just the one goal scored within that time period. And he's meant to be a striker. Antonio... Everyone says that he's our only striker at the club, right? But he's not really a striker. He plays more like a winger. If you look at his heat map for the game against Newcastle, he covered more ground on the outside of the box than he did actually within the box. He wasn't all over the final third, as one might expect. And that's worrying if he claims that he's a striker. He's not as clinical as he was at the start of the season. And it is worrying. But he should be dropped regardless because of his poor form at the present time. Why won't Moyes do that? Because he likes Antonio too much. And he has too much faith that his players will just have one good game to get the faith back and to get that magic touch back. That's probably what David Moyes is doing. And it's frustrating for a lot of players. There are players in this team who are crying out to play. I bet Alex Kral is wondering why he signed for West Ham sometimes. Because he's sitting on the bench and... I actually would think that he could mop up anything Suchet does or even go into that team to replace him because they both play the exact same position, i.e. the defensive midfield. Moyes, going back on to my topic, is showing favouritism because he's prioritising either his signings or players that he is most accustomed to over those who are in good form. Now, Ben Rama was not really a David Moyes choice. It was actually a Golden Sullivan choice because Ben Rama's agent is that Will Salthouse guy. Um, what you also have to remember is that Moyes wanted Suchek to come. Suchek was the one who, who encouraged Sofal to join. 
and those two helped to sign Alex Kral. So, Moyes has a lot of faith in Suchet because he was the main man and he was signed in Moyes' first transfer window when he returned to the club. Also, the favouritism shows in starting the same players week in, week out. It's not just Suchek, it's not just Antonio. But it's the fact that he puts too much reliance on players. And as a result, they're getting drained. No wonder they get drained. And I do feel sorry for some of these players. It's not all their fault. But when your manager prioritises others over you, when you know that they haven't been playing as well as you could have, that's when you start to get mad. David Moyes has really massively contradicted himself by being a favouritist. Moyes always talked about wanting a young, hungry, competitive side. That's always what he said, and I'll never forget him saying that. So why does he not show it? Let's not say depth. We do somewhat have depth, believe it or not. We could have academy players come in. But no. We don't have that because Moyes is too stubborn and arrogant. He'll pick the players he likes just because of his good reputation with them rather than what is needed. And if you are brave enough, you drop those players. It's not out of disrespect it's definitely not out of uh, want of falling out with someone. It's because change is needed. And change is needed within that starting 11. We have the same 11 pretty much every week. And no matter how strong it may be on paper, it doesn't always perform. We have individuals that let us down right now because they're tired or looking disinterested. And there's, while there's players on the bench who are just warming it for the full 90 or are wondering, hmm... Why am I not getting played over Zomso? And this Ben Rama substitution showed just that. To conclude, Ben Rama was frustrated because he didn't deserve to come off in that game. He noticed that Antonio wasn't playing well. He noticed Suchet wasn't playing well. And he was the first to come off, and he often comes off in games. Why is he not getting the full 90 anymore? And one thing is for sure, as I said in a previous video, Ben Rama usually comes off and on comes Vlasic or Lanzini or Fornals or someone like that. Just why? You know, I like Moyes, but he needs to stop sucking up to players just because he's chummy with them. Is he their friend? No, he's not their friend. He's their manager. He is the man who is running the ship. And he needs to run a tight ship. Make those brave decisions. Forget personalities. Forget your preferences. Drop them if they're not playing well. Don't drop side Ben Rama, even from what he said, because he was just expressing his frustration. Suchek, Antonio need to be gone out of this starting eleven. Please, David Moyes, be the bigger man. Do your job. Drop him. That's all we ask right now. Thank you very much for watching this video on Anvil Thoughts. If you like the video... Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all soon.